All right, welcome to MTG Unpacked. Can everybody hear me okay? All right, just getting the uh, laptop set up here for the so I can see the comments a little better. Um, today we'll be opening the Channel Fireball Cyber Monday crate. Uh, actually ordered this I think on Wednesday and it just came in today so I thought I'd do a live stream. Uh, this contains a bunch of booster packs and I think there are about 13 random ones. As far as I know they're still selling these so and MTG Purple says it's Cyber Wednesday crate then. Yeah, they, they're they still selling it. So uh, they might as well just call it Cyber December or just Cyber Crate. Um, so we'll see what we get. Let's see here. So YouTube. Hope everyone's having a nice weekend so far. I just got back from running around the countryside looking for magic card deals at GameStop or Walgreens or what have you and came up absolutely empty alright let's see where is my live stream ah there we go Make sure I turn the volume off. Alright, so I can see chat. And got the MTG Goldfish ready to go. Yeah, they pretty much, the game stops had a bunch of Pokemon stuff. Um, they had, I think they had some Ixalan or Arrow Devastation, but all that stuff was full price, so really nothing to get excited about all right so it looks like we've got a bunch of people here 10 so let's crack this open let's see if i can tear it open without the knife okay what do we got here channelfireball.com Not sure what's going on there. I'll crack that open. Bunch of packs. Oh, good. Some iconic masters there. That yellow looks suspiciously like Dragon's Maze. Uh, the crate with shipping was, I think it was like 68 or 69, thereabouts. Um, the shipping you could probably get cheaper if you buy I think if you bought more than a hundred dollars worth of stuff um, yeah so let's see what we get oh man I really stuff it in there Yeah, we'll find out if it's worth it. I'm expecting the 13 packs of extras. They did promise, um, I think, the two... Was it two iconic? Or one iconic? So we get a little score pad here, which I will probably not use at all. So that's... don't care. We get a Journey into Nyx which is interesting because you can see that over there I'll be opening that in the next snap series Born of the Gods, we got that too Ether of Alt, Hour of Devastation and Kaladesh Alright, so how many is that? That's uh, five of those, just assorted stuff And Jay Shing's asking for an epic face reveal. Probably not. 
Sorry to disappoint, but just consider I look like this, but with more stubble and shorter hair. How about that? So five, we've got two of these, so that's good. Seven, ah, dragon's maze. Nine, and then 11 cans. So I'm still working my way through cans. Okay, Shadows over Innistrad, 12, Gatecrash, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and whatever is in here. Thanks, Joe Shing, have a good feed. We'll be able to catch up on this later. Oh, what's that? I think there's a Modern Masters 2015, is it? Oh, there we go. I haven't actually opened any of these before. And what are these sleeves? Apparently super glued. So these are all, yeah, they're all branded Channel 5 all sleeves, so not something I'll get that excited about. <laughs> A lot of people saying, gimme, gimme, gimme. Uh, We'll see, we'll see. I'll keep it in mind. So, more of these. All right, so, what do we have total? Let's sort them into good stuff. So, a couple of, I think you were guaranteed a Modern Masters and two Iconic Masters. And what else? So, Journey in the Nick. That will go over there. Aether Revolt, Our Devastation Born of the Gods, Khans, Dragon's Maze. Then we got Uldrich Moon, I'll put Fate Reforged, Origins, Ixalan, Gatecrash, Shadows, and okay, so three. Seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So, oh, was that eighteen? Have I miscounted? Oh, okay, eighteen packs. So you be the judge. Is that good? If you say these are like ten bucks each, that's like half of the uh, value right there. So I think they were saying. These are normally um, like about a hundred, but I don't know what they would call it then. Is it just a regular crate or? Okay, so uh, what do we want to open first? Do we want to go from crappiest to best or best to worst or just mix it up random? And I can hear, I can hear the clamoring so we've got one vote for crappy to best. Chronological could be interesting. Yeah, finish strong. I like that idea. So let's start with these guys. Because I already opened a box of this. And what was the other? There's something else I got really hosed on recently. Ah, no, we don't have any um, BFZ here. Hey, Fifth Moon. So you're just in time, just getting started here on these Channel Fireball Cyber Monday crate. Okay, we'll go through these commons real quick. Dran and Filth, Hired Torturer, Mending Touch, Sunspire Gatekeepers, Simic Cluestone, Ore for the Guilds, Battering Crisis, Morgue Burst, Maze Sentinel, Sinister Possession, oh, what's this, uh, Far and Away, 
and that seems to be an uncommon yeah so uncommon gleam of battle wear and tear and Lavinia of the Tenth. I don't know if that's any good. Get out my MTG goldfish. And that's 28 cents. Fantastic. And a Simic Guildgate. This is this is just a regular not a foil knight okay so as expected that was pretty much trash thanks jd stop by later check it out Let's see if i get anything good here uh hey asha we have boris cluestone oars of cluestone rectos drake tithe drinker Smelt Ward Gatekeepers, Steeple Rock, yeah, real shocker, Gate, uh, what is it, Dragon's Maze, I can't even remember it, uh, Riot Control, Punish the Enemy, Deputy of Acquittals, Gruel Cluestone, another far and away, Showstopper, now this one, no hits yet, we're starting with Dragon's Maze, but I do like this artwork, these guys. This reminds me of all the drama that has been going on over the last week or two. That's pretty much everyone. So there we go. I will not be commenting on that drama in any way. Wear and tear. Obsidat's aid. So this is also, I believe, totally worthless. What are we at? 35 cents. Fantastic. And an is it Guildgate? And a add. Yeah. Doc, you're just in time. Um, so we've got 18 packs of goodness. We have some sleeves, branded sleeves. And an entirely useful scorekeeping card. Um, I think it's fairly good value. I mean, you're getting like, yeah, like $69 before shipping this stuff and a bunch of other odds and ends. So, yep, yeah, we'll see how we go. I'm going to do Gate Crash next. We're working our way from possibly worst to best. All right, Way of the Thief, Tin Street Market, Dutiful Thrall, Grizzly Spectacle, Adaptive Snapjaw, Bomber Core, Midnight Recovery, Last Thoughts, Demir Guildgate. Don't worry, Stuck on Europa, you haven't missed anything much. We're going through all these... Um, Crappier packs here first. We got a Viz Copa Guild Mage, Alpha Authority, Cinder Elemental, and Whispering Madness. Now, this is interesting because I have not opened any Gate Crash before, as far as I recall. They might have been in the uh, Target thing, um, but yeah, nothing. So, this one was 36 cents. Fantastic. Burning Tree Emissary, Ooh, foil, gotta love the foils, Burning Tree Emissary, mm, let's see, holy crap, I've got a huge list of stuff here, how, mu how much burning so and so is there, burning, oh, it's going to make me type the whole thing, yeah, I'll take it off my hands. Um, okay, finally. All right. And this was in, oh, $4.19. So that's our first really decent card. All right. I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to put decent cards over here. All the trash, trash can go 
over here. Yeah, so about a $4.20, $4.19. Um, I'm going to have to organize my cards at some point. I went to the LGS um, last night. Didn't make it to F&M, but um, picked up a bunch of boxes so I can organize my cards because I'm way disorganized. And that's when I also got the um, from the vault thing. So the miscuts on that, a bit disappointing, but the, the foiling is really fantastic on that. All right, Weight of the Underworld. So this is Magic Origins. Haven't opened this on the channel before. I've heard the value is pretty bad in this set. A Crowan Sergeant Charging Griffin. Catacomb Slug. All right, you know, I have to, if there's anything gross looking, I have to show you guys. Because I'm, I'm thinking it's dinner time, close to dinner time. So there you go. Catacomb Slug. Beautiful creature. All right, Might of the Masses. I mean... <laughs> Yeah, I'm ignoring all the weird crap. It's pretty much because it's scrolling by so fast that I can't really comment on it. So maybe that's a blessing. Screeching Scarb, Titanic Growth, Send to Sleep, Return, Return Centaur, Claustrophobia, Prism Ring, Angel's Tomb, Malakir Cullblade, and... Starfield of Nyx, Mythic. Starfield of Nyx. Oh, that's only in Origins. Interesting. And $2.66. So I am calling that a win. So that goes in the decent pile. And, okay, double face planeswalkers in uh, Origins. Does anyone know anything about that? Guess they have a ton of those. That would make sense because they mentioned that in the from the vault. Uh, let's see. Let's go. And yeah, let's just do fate reforged. And Doc MTG is a youngster. That's very interesting. I guess me and uh, Purple are probably the old men in the stream. Unfortunately, but let's let's say that comes with wisdom. How about that? Okay, pressure point. So what is this? Uh, Fate reforged. All right. Avon skirmisher, Lotus Path Jin, Hooded Assassin, Ethereal Ambush, Mardu Scout. I always think that guy's like surfing. One of these goblins. Should do a goblin card analysis with my favorite goblin cards. The amount of crazy stuff they put on those. Uh, Archers of Karzai, Fierce Invocation, Feral Krushok, Reality Shift, Sudden Reclamation, Honor's Reward, and Timur, Timur War Shaman. And I think a lot of these, this was pretty much the set where it's shock, uh, not shock lands, fetch lands or bust. So, yeah, this one's 33 cents. Oh, enhanced awareness. And enhanced awareness is only in Fate Reforged. Look at that, 29 cents. But cool foiling on that. Blossoming Sands. And a manifest token. All right. Yeah, fate is Uganor bust, says Exotic Gaming, pretty much. Okay, let's go with Khans. Still working my way through Khans in the snack series. I think we have about, uh, I'm going to say like 10 or so left. Um, those will go to 48, and then we'll switch over to... Theros block. 
So Tigam Scheming, Sage Eye Harrier. Yeah, this is Fetch or Bust too. Yep. Alpine Grizzly, Rotting Mastodon. Here you go. So if you're eating dinner, get a good look at that. Maybe some ribs, some, I don't know, barbecue. That'd be good. Force Away, Bring Low, Rugged Highlands, Dress Sky Student, Abomination of Gurul, Singing Bell Strike, and Dazzling Ramparts. And speaking of ribs, I, I will say I love the ribs in the US. They never had them in Australia at the time, so very tasty. Uh, Timur Charm, Secret Plans, and Necropolis Fiend. I'm going to say that's probably like 20, 30 cents. What are we at? Uh, 34 cents. Wow, there we go. All right, not a surprise. All right, rip the band-aid off with more cans. So Grant says his Snaz plays MTG channel. All right, looking forward to it. What are you gonna do on that pack openings or something else? Any lore? We got a Salt Road Patrol, Skullkin, Arrow Storm. So he says pack opening and MTGO. Sounds like a good choice. Maru Hod Chief, Sadisi's Pet, Alpine Grizzly, Shambling Attendance, Jeskai Banner, Naturalize, Jungle Hollow. Mistfire Weaver, Sultai Flayer, Frontier Bivouac, and a Mind Swipe. So that one's got to be at least 20 cents. If I can spell Mind Swipe, 32 cents. All right, so everybody. Go subscribe to Snaz, that's S-N-A-Z-Z, -Z, plays MTG. Just started his channel, you heard it here first, so... Oh, we get a Sarkhan emblem. Alright. So if you're just joining us, nothing too exciting so far. Uh, let's do a Born of the Gods. Hey, Trashfire. You've missed absolutely nothing, unless you're interested in trash, in which case you might want to check it out again from the beginning. Uh, so this is... Okay, Born of the Gods, Fearsome Temper, Servant of Tymeret, Satyr Wayfinder, Faragax Giant, look at that dude. So I'm going to throw a big boulder and there's people running away. I haven't actually seen any of these cards, so if I take a bit longer with these, bear with me. Retraction Helix. Thanks, Fifth Moon. Catch you later. Sudden Storm. Kragma Butcher. Aspect of Hydra. Mortals Resolve. Divination, Archetype of Aggression. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to this Theros block stuff. That'll probably be either uh, very late December or sometime early January by the time I get to that. Uh, so Archetype of Aggression, Ephara's Enlightenment. And feel free to interrupt me if you see any cards here that are worth anything. I'm just going to skip through to the rares. Bile Blight and a Corsa of Crufix. And I have no idea what that would be worth. That is, oh, okay, good. $3.86. Centaur. 
Play with the top card of your library revealed. You may play the top card of your library if it's a land card. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, you gain one life. Huh. Seems pretty decent. Uh, yeah, put that in the good pile. There we go. And a mountain and a soldier. Okay. Journey into Nyx. So this is also in the Theros block. This is the third set, I believe. We have Font of Return, Font of Fortunes, Magma Spray, Harvest Guard Alcids, Golden Hind, Aspect of Gorgon, Mortal Obstinacy, Pin to the Earth, Ferris Band Thunderhoof, that's a mouthful, Gluttonous Cyclops, what? What is he eating? It looks like... Oh! Okay, so he's... I thought he was eating some chickens. They look like sheep. And he's got a dude in his other hand. He's like, I'll have you for dessert. Okay. <laughs> yeah, sheep, everyone says. Alright. Yeah, the scale was a bit hard to tell there. Basara Tower Archer. Desperate Stand. Forgeborn Oreads, Oreads, and Heroes Bane. Heroes Bane. Oh, that's reprinted in uh, Conic Masters, apparently. And 50 cents. Yeah, uncommon now. Yeah, seems fair. And a Satyr token. Alright, so then we move on to these. These ones are sort of in the middle, I would say. Maybe Shadows is not quite as good as Eldritch Moon. So we have a Hound, Cathar's Companion, Lamplighter of Selhof. No shortage of light there. Emissary of the Sleepless, Mold Graf Scavenger, Senseless Rage, Sanitarium Skeleton. Yeah, I think the straight jacket needs a little repair, not to mention the, the dude inside. Shamble Back, Voldaren Duelist, Vessel of Nascent Sea. Reaper of Flight Moon Silver, Olivia's Blood Sawn. Yeah, it looked like an Iron Maiden cover. I'm a big Iron Maiden fan too, so that was got a chuckle out of that. Erdwell Illuminator and a Silver Fur Partisan. Silver Fur Partisan is probably 40 cents. All right. So, Trooper or Bust, yeah. Cursed Witch, is this a... Oh, this, okay, this is the flip card deal. Turns into an Infectious Curse. I don't think that's worth anything. Alright. Eldritch Moon. So that's something, um, I don't know if I mentioned that, so I started doing the uh, dollar sign things in the corner of most of my videos because I wanted to have a bit of a record of what the good cards were, what the lower value cards were, um, but really it's just a guide, um, I'm really about the artwork and just the experience of cracking packs rather than the value. Um, if I was about the value, I probably would have quit ages ago because there's so many hosings. Yeah, Doc says we should take all the black and red card names from Shadows and Moon and write a metal song. You probably have something pretty good there. Alright, Borrowed Grace, 
Otherworldly Outburst. I, I love that one. That's like the Exorcist type deal, but with a bit of an Eldrazi flavor there. Swift Spinner. Cemetery Recruitment. Watch out for Liliana. Displace. Falconrath Reaver. Iron Rites Cleansing. Spontaneous Mutation. Graf Harvest. Lashweed Lurker. Courageous Outrider. And an Eldritch Evolution. Yeah, that's a pretty fun one. Looks like a cow Eldrazi type thing. Eldritch Evolution is not a big one there. Oh, dollar forty-five. I'm gonna call that decent then. It's supposed to be a boar, is it? Ah, oh, yeah. There we go. Yeah, the, there's the uh, pig snout. Look to the left. Ah. Yep. So that he's shedding the skin and he's becoming something new. All right, and a Lone Rider. This is a flip card. Oh, 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 that was a nice surprise. We'll look at that in a minute. It that rides as one. Okay, and now we got a Mythic flip card. Ulrich of the Krellen Horde. And is that usual to get two flip cards? He's 82 cents. Blech. Okay, never mind. Turns into Ulrich Uncontested Alpha. Any relation to uh, the guy from Metallica? Talk about the metal theme here. And a zombie. Yep, so Doc says that's normal to get those. All right. Next, what do we got? So working our way through now. What do we want to open next? Ether Revolt, Kaladesh, Ixalan, or Hour of Devastation? Any preference? Yep, we've got one vote for Kaladesh. Two votes for Kaladesh. Kaladesh is in the lead. Okay, okay. Kal yeah, Kaladesh, we've got one for Ixalan, so we'll do that second. Do Hour of Devastation and Ether Revolt. So Kaladesh. The Dalkin Blade Master. A tune with Ether. Dakara Scavenger. Yeah, I hope I get an invention as well. That'd be a nice one. Curio Vendor. Chandra's Pyrohelix, Cogworker's Puzzle Knot, Renegade Freighter, Rush of Vitality, World Fast Monitor, Shrewd Negotiation, Incendiary Sabotage, Morbid Curiosity, and Insidious Will. So this is one of those choose a target or Whatever, let's see, Insidious Will. Oh, really? So Doc got a masterpiece from his $1 packs. That is pretty crazy. That pretty much would have paid for everything you bought. And a Torch Gauntlet Foil. Foil common, not worth a heck of a lot. And an island and a servo. Got to collect the servo tokens. He says no spoilers. Yeah, I'm sure we'll see that in an upcoming video. So all eyes will be on Doc's Kaladesh openings for the foreseeable future. All right, Ixalan. Excellent. 
we have Slash of Talons, Ma of the Vampire, Shore Strike, Queen's Commission, Crash the Ramparts, Shipwreck Looter, Pious Interdiction, Demolish, Grazing Whiptail, Duress, Deep Root Waters, Glorifier of Dusk, Storm Fleet Spy, and Bishop of Rebirth. Yeah, we need a hit. Um, I think we're saving the hits for Iconic or that Modern Masters. So Bishop of Rebirth, I'm going to say it's like 20, 25 cents or so from what I recall. Uh, 40 cents. So still nothing that brilliant. And some treasure. There we go. There's a hit for this pack. Some treasure. It's actually putting together a deck that spews out treasure if anyone's seen the um, marionette master thing I think gathering magic did a thing about that the other day looks pretty fun hour of devastation so this is another one where pretty much hose tan a god or a what are they called invocation so, Active Heroism, Puncturing Blow, Proven Combatant, Kenra Eternal, Rampaging Hippo, Carrion Screecher, Graven Abomination, or a Bolus, yep. If we pull a Bolus, I'd be happy. Striped Riverwinder, Ruin Rat. Somebody needs to do a standard deck with Ruin Rats. Death Touch, just a... Uh, isn't there a, a modern deck where it's full of rats? You just have streams of rats being generated. Steadfast Sentinel, Imaginary Threats, Ominous Sphinx, Consigned to Oblivion, and Hour of Promise. So that one, I'm thinking about a dollar, maybe less. Hour of oh, we've got a bit of lag here there we go our promise yeah we've got some air eh. dollar 43 so i'm calling that a win so over a dollar it goes in the wind pile over here but yep no gods there no bolus ether revolt we have a chance for an invention Or at least something useful in an energy deck. Now that's interesting. Okay, I opened it. Okay, the other way around. Bastion Inventor. Or a Tezzeret or Fatal Push. Yep. Cruel Finality. Filigree Crawler. Walking Ballista would be nice. Ether Swooper. Wrangle. Implement of Improvement, Bastion Enforcer, and we got a comment there about Jace blessing the packs. I think that was the problem. I think that's why we haven't had any big hits so far. So I'll have to get get this dude on the case. Ether Stream Leopard, Night Market Guard, Lifecraft Cavalry, Pima Ether Seer, Skyship Plunderer. Hidden Stockpile, that was a good one in the uh, Token Generation deck. And Snaz is on his way, probably working on his channel. Thanks for dropping by. And a Consulate Crackdown. Wah, wah, wah. So that goes for 28 cents. All right. And an island and an ad. Okay, Jace. You gotta give us some good blessings here. So, what do I do first? Modern 2015 or iconic? Done a ton of iconic lately. 
But should I do... So we've got one vote for Iconic. I haven't actually opened any modern. Another Iconic. Iconic. Modern Iconic. I like that idea. And we'll do the Alice Norn last. How about that? Iconic Masters. And we've got more Iconic coming up tomorrow. I'm planning to do another live stream tomorrow with some Iconic, but you'll have to wait till tomorrow to see exactly what is going on with that one. Start off with Mnemonic Wall, Earth Elemental, Pentarch Ward, Shriekgeist, Nantuko Shaman, Balustrade Spy, Iona's Judgment. Yeah, um, I'm going for a foil mana drain, personally. Already got a mana drain. Eternal Thirst. Jessian Thief. Wall of Roots. Merek Nightblade. Sultai Flayer. Demir Aqueduct. And... Oh my god, who called that? Stuck on Europa. Wait, there's no, no green screen. Holy crap. <laughs> so that's pretty much paid for this entire thing, I believe. $77.93. And I'm going to have to, when this is um, uploaded to YouTube, I'm going to have to change the title to hint at something ridiculous. So, Mana Drain, Jace, mate, buddy, you did good. Look at him. If he had a smile, he'd be like, there'd be this big Cheshire grin. Okay, so let's get out the sleeves. We've got to sleeve this one up. And I feel sorry for anybody who left before this moment, but they will catch it later. Mana Drain. All right. So I highly recommend the Cyber Monday box. It's a great product. And we get a Supreme Verdict. Supreme Verdict Foil $8.96 so even that's not too bad enjoy the foiling there I can't believe somebody called a mana drain and we actually pulled a mana drain that is just crazy alright Modern Masters 2015 with our nice cardboard packs. They're probably all being searched, so... Yeah, we're, we're printing... Doc says we're going to get a goif, so... Let's hope so. Uh, put my... Got my dragon token in the way. What is this about? Am I going to... All oh, right. So the token, okay, this is a different order. Token in the front, Fairy Rogue. Smoke Braider. Glint Hawk Idol. Fairy Mechanist. Apostle's Blessing. Instill Infection. Vapor Snag. Blades of Velus Vel. Thrive. Gut Shot. Flaya Husk, we get a Demir Aqueduct, Boros Swift Blade, Orzov Basilica, and an Etched Champion is the rare. Etched Champion, Modern Masters 2015, originally in Scars of Mirrodin, is $3.28. So I'm calling that decent. And a common. Aquastrand Spider Foil. Alright, so not too bad. 
Isn't the uh, Modern Masters 2015 um, the weaker of the, the Masters set? Thought it was a foil goif for a second, yeah, I wish. And what happened over here, this was... Okay, that's also the good pile. Did I mess things up? Yep, I messed things up. So I have Supreme Verdict and a bunch of trash here. That can go over here. Iconic Masters, anyone for a foil mana drain? Hey, Unsealed, you just missed something crazy. From a single pack of the Cyber Monday Channel Fireball Crate. Yep, no way, seriously. Check it out on the uh, replay. I'm just holding that. Somebody called it beforehand and I could not believe it. So that's the second one I've got out of Iconic so far. All right, so another Iconic. We have Pentarch Ward, Shriek Geist, Borderland Marauder, Foul Tongue Invocation, Lead the Stampede, Pillar of Flame, and Asha says Foil Canopy. That'd be good as well. I like the Canopy, Horizon Canopy. Ruined Servitor. Grizzly Spectacle, Fury Charm, Seeker of the Way, Windfall, this has certainly been a windfall so far, Bog Brew Witch, Simic Growth Chamber, and Path of Bravery. And Doc's going to be on a Madman recording binge over the next what couple of hours couple of days so path of bravery that's pretty much what i did before thanksgiving i was just all previous weekend and every day during the week for thanksgiving getting the videos queued up so 27 cents and a Jugan, the Rising Star. Rare. So he's got to be worth something, right? A couple of bucks. He is $5.33. So no, that's pretty decent. Alright. And a bird. So that... If you came in late, we got a 18 packs, we got a little notepad, we got some channel fireball sleeves, and let's go through the hits. So anything over a dollar. Oh, two weeks. Wow, two weeks of videos for Doc MTG. That's going to be tough to get all that stuff ready. So we had Arrow Promise, Eldritch Evolution, Corsa of Crufix, Starfield of Nyx, Burning Tree Emissary Foil. So this is all the stuff over a dollar. And we also had the Jugan Rising Star, Etched Champion, Mana Drain, and supreme verdict foil so i'm pretty happy this was a good crate nice selection um you could tell they put a bunch of cheaper stuff in there but still like i'm way ahead just on this alone paid for everything yeah what's this doing here <laughs> so let's inspect that we got some good good corners looks well cut Yep, so that one's decent quality. And then let's see if I can dig up my other one. So that'll be a good good companion to this one. Need to put it in a top loader. Uh, is this one, is it my imagination or is the one on the left? Maybe it's the sleeve. Looks a little darker. 
All right, yep, got to get a place set of these. That'd be nice. Yeah, it looks a bit darker. Oh, you think it's the top loader? Yeah, it could be. Um, so before I take off, um, a reminder for anyone who hasn't entered already, this will be drawn tonight and about what ends in about three hours the giveaway for US or Canadian viewers merfolk versus goblins so if you haven't already entered and you qualify for that go check it out maybe you'll win and then tomorrow I have another um, so if you want to be in the giveaway if you haven't already if you go to that previous video, there's a, a giveaway video for the Merfolk versus Goblins. You just got to enter a comment saying you're from the US or Canada, as long as you're 18 years of age or older, and you, or if you're younger, have a parent's permission, you can enter. And then I'll be doing the drawing tonight. Hopefully, get up the um, winner video before midnight. Yeah, the, this, so I don't know if anybody knows, so I designed this playmat myself. Um, this guy is the star of my iOS game, which is sadly no longer on the App Store, but um, it was called Flappalope. So he's got the wings. I made a card. You can see the, uh, there's the full thing. And then put the logo on there. I used um, Acorn, a graphics program on the Mac, to do the uh, like the filter. This is just a filter, like a glow filter behind him. And then uh, Inked Gaming, I think, is the the company. You you send them a picture that you want to put on a play mat, and they just. Uh, get that together for you and send it out. So I'm happy with how it turned out. I know it's really garish and eye searing, but that's sort of what I wanted. Um, but unfortunately, it sometimes detracts from um, if you have something that clashes or is really dark on here, it's sort of, oh, look at the playmat and not the card. Um, so tomorrow, um, Going to have another live stream tomorrow night, probably around the same time. Uh, we'll see how we go. Give you a bit of a hint, there'll be more Iconic Masters. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to do something similar to what I did on a, sim on a um, previous live stream. So stay tuned for that. And thanks for dropping by, everybody. And if you're entering that giveaway, good luck. And we'll see you next time. And then how do I end this live stream? There we go. All right. Thanks for joining. Catch you later.